Football season is just around the corner, but before Thursday's rematch between Super Bowl champions Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers, let's check in with the fantasy leagues. Joining us now to discuss the big business of fantasy sports and to share a few tips on drafting a winning fantasy team is Houlihan Loki, managing director and former head of digital media at the NFL, Chris Russo. Hi, Chris. Great to see you. Thank you. Great to be here. So how much has the fantasy sports business grown recently? How many people are participating? It, it, it's become a huge business. There are more than 55 million people playing fantasy sports in the U.S. and Canada. And to put that in perspective, when I was at the NFL 15 years ago and launched the first fantasy games there, there were probably five or six million people playing. So that kind of growth has really been enormous. Amazing. And there are a lot of people who are participating in the daily fantasy business now. What kind of a grind is that to do it daily? Daily fantasy is actually fun for those yeah, who love it. I guess I, I don't that's know true. I shouldn't it call quite, it a grind. Quite as a grind. But uh, <laughs> probably four or five million out of the 50 57 million are playing daily fantasy. Uh, those games are typically for cash. You get to play every day. You compete against friends or people you don't know. And there's certainly been a lot of growth and, and even some controversy around that business in sure. the last couple of years. But you also have to keep a constant finger on the pulse of what's happening day to day with the NFL, right? I mean, you got to follow every player and their injuries, correct? Uh, absolutely. I mean, that's the great thing about fantasy. It is a skill-based game. You have to know what's happening with players, injuries, performance. Uh, football, at least, is weekly, so you can kind of keep up with it week to week. Mm -hmm. Something like baseball or basketball, it's really every day. Now, speaking of the controversy, we know that FanDuel and DraftKings had to suspend operations briefly while New York State worked out whether this was considered gambling or not, correct? And yes. now the ruling came down that it is a game of skill. Correct. So they are back in business. I just want to ask you, though, because a lot of people can say, you know, hey, gambling is a game of skill, too. I mean, is it gambling? Is it not gambling? Yeah, my, my view on fantasy is it is a game of skill because it does involve a lot of research. It does involve knowing the players. It does involve uh, understanding injuries, understanding performance. Uh, but certainly cer certain attorney generals felt differently, and there was some discussion, and ultimately legislation came down in New York, which I think is very favorable to the fantasy sure. industry. And what? Uh, so what implications to the, the New York legislation will that have nationally? Anything? I, I believe that more and more states will take their cue from New York. Mm -hmm. There are other states that are currently considering legislation. I think the, the major operators uh, currently operate in about 40 out of the 50 states. I, th I think you'll see that number go up over time. Right. But it is an issue that is, is now being addressed state by state. And so to you, is the future very bright for fantasy sports? I, I do believe it's bright. And again, on the daily front, I think there's some good momentum on the legislation side. Right. But I think more generally, when you think about 57 million people, the engagement, the fact that they watch more games on TV, uh, it really is a lot of fun to get involved in fantasy sports. Absolutely. So let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> what tips do you have for drafting that great team? Uh, well, I, you know, I like to focus on some players that might have been injured the prior year and now are making a comeback. You know, Jordy Nelson from Green Bay, Victor Cruz from New York. Sometimes you look at rookies, uh, Ezekiel Elliott at Dallas. Sometimes you even look at veterans like Drew Brees, which uh, maybe they have had uh, some stronger earlier years, but still have, have a lot left in the tank. So it's really a combination of those rookies, those sleepers, and maybe a couple of veterans is the way I look at it. Are you playing some uh, fantasy football right now? I will be. My draft is not till Thursday, so I can't <laughs> give away all my tips. No, but, I was going to uh, say. We'll talk, yeah, well, we can talk to you after Thursday to see, uh, see how it goes. Exactly. Now, you did help FanDuel raise some money at, at some point. We, yeah, right? with my prior company, Mesa Global, we were an advisor for FanDuel. We helped them raise two rounds of capital. Uh, and so I, you know, again, have been intimately involved in that business and understand it and really think there's some some bright prospects ahead well a lot of people seem to agree with you a lot of people really love it all right I can't wait to hear how your team shapes up on Friday we'll be checking back in with you Chris Russo thank you very much thanks for that